Hey, what's up, guys? It's <clears throat> it's Price from Nitro for Fun, and um, this is a review of the AR Drone 2.0. So, um, I think I'm ready to give a review for this because I've used it for about a month now, and it's working beautifully. So, yeah. Uh, it is a quadcopter flying a machine. As you can see, quadcopter means it's got four blades here, like four propellers. <coughs> and what's interesting is that, or what's kind of neat, is each propeller has its own motor right here. That's the motor right there. And I got the version that has this green part right here. I think you can also get yellow and blue, I think it's, it is. So here I have the outdoor hull on, which is the one, obviously, where the blades, or, I mean the propellers, are exposed here. And um, so take it off, it's, magnet well, like, it's magnetized, so just take it off like that, slide it to the front which is the camera area and you can see it's made out of like this kind of stuff I mean styrofoam kind of material here it's really flexible and stuff it, it does crack and stuff though if you crash and stuff like that but uh, yeah I'm just going to show you the outdoor hull quickly I mean the indoor hull sorry here we go here it is this one's much bigger as you can see outdoor hull indoor hole but what you do is you slip it through oh my god it's not, I can't. I to back it up a little more okay so you see it's got a little hole right there we're just gonna slide it through the camera and boom she's on I don't I can't yeah there we go so here is what the indoor hall looks like. As you can see, there's uh, enough space for every propeller to spin, right? And so when you hit a wall, it's not going to really damage anything around in this area too much. So you can bump into a couple walls and stuff because obviously this is protecting and everything like that. Um... I think these are four brushed motors, I think. I'm not, uh, yeah, I think they're four brushed motors. I can't really 100% tell if they're brushed or they're non-brushed. I'm pretty sure they're, I mean, if they're brushed or brushless. Oh, I'm pretty sure they're brushed engines or motors, but that's fine. Still get off plenty of power. So let's go up into here now. Um, well, let's just start at the front here. Like I said, there's the 720p, 30 frames a second, 30 frames per second camera, right here in the front. And then we flip over to the bottom. This tiny little thing, which you guys can see, right here. If there wasn't so much light, it's right there. That little hole, my friends, is the bottom-facing camera. And I'm just, I'm just going to try to give you an idea of how small that is. Um, what can I use quickly, quickly, quickly? Okay, um, shit. Uh, I don't think I can uh, get one right now. Um, okay, this is kind of bad. Oh, wait, um, okay. Here's 25 cents. This is, I'm Canadian, but this is the, uh, this is an American 25 cents coin that I have. I got it in, I got it in change. But, so there's your average quarter. I think it's a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm kind of stupid. Yes, it is a quarter, I believe. Yes, quarter. Okay. So here's your average size quarter, and there is the little camera. 
It's really quite amazing how small people can make cameras and just like things in general. It's very cool. Science is t advancing. Technology is advancing. Set you up right here. Okay. Oh, so much light. So, oh yeah, I forgot to put on my background. Beast mode. Okay. So, these things, which almost look like speakers, are like your sensors for like the auto hovering and like, yeah, like the auto hover feature kind of thing. Where when you let go of all controls, it will hover in basically the same spot. It's not going to be 100% not moving at all. Indoors, it pretty much doesn't move. Like, you'll get, like, a little bit of, like, the swaying kind of thing. And it'll just, like, kind of move. But it'll always readjust itself. That's really cool. Um, everything on this, on the AR drone is replaceable, I think. So, that's really good. You can replace motors props, gears, motherboards, the sensors, you name it. Everything can be replaced, so that's really good. Um, it's got these rubber landing grip things, so when you land, it's not going to damage it at all. Um, Alright, let's... And there's like a little LED right there. You can't see it, it's like a... I don't know if you guys can faintly see that little circle right there. Uh, I can't really point at it. Right there. That is like an LED, I think, because it, like, shines green when it, you fly over it. And if you get an emergency cutout by hitting something, I, I think if you look on the bottom, it'll be red. But I'm not an expert. Sorry if I've been doing that. <laughs> it's kind of a habit. All right. So, some features... Which is, and this is like a really nice feature, is you got a USB port for your video recording. So let me just get it out of this pouch. So here it is. You got, you can see here. USB. You just plug your thumb drive into that. I think I said that right. Thumb drive. I think that's what it is. Fuck. Now I got a battle to put that back in. I don't know why I took it out, guys. Just I guess I just wanted to demonstrate. So there we go. So you just plug a thumb drive into there. Here's your battery connector. Your Velcro to keep it on. It's kind of got like a shaky type thing here. You can pull this out. And you can start repairs of whatever you need to repair. Motherboard, sensors, all stuff internally, you know. Oh my god, I keep doing that. I don't know why I keep doing that, guys. I'm sorry. But, um, alright, let's, uh, take a look at the batteries, shall we? Alright, so here is the battery that comes with your AR drone. Oh, by the way, I should mention, if you're looking to purchase an AR drone, you're going to need a smartphone. An Android or a iPhone will work fine, because this thing gives off, like, a Wi-Fi signal. And in order to fly, your phone is the controller. So you download a free app, and it's called, um, doing it. Um, I think it's called AR Drone Free Flight 2.0 or something like that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll put a name to everything in the description and the link to the website if you guys are looking at this or looking to buy it. It's quite costly i got this for christmas um I, I seen in the store it's about 350 um and uh yeah for 350 it's quite durable i've crashed it at a fairly high height and i did break a couple oh my god papa i broke i think it was the back propeller here i snapped it right off I replaced it, of course. You can buy replacement parts. But I just snapped it right off. It was so cold, it just snapped. And you guys can see, they're very flexible, but as soon as like, I accidentally hit the emergency cutout button when I was kind of panicking, because I was like, it was going 
towards a snowbank and I was just kind of messing up. So I hit the emergency cutout and it did kind of like a flip back and landed right on the bottom corner here and snap. So very easy to replace. Just pop those little things off. Boom. Switched. But I got off topic. We were talking about the battery. So here is the Aerodrome 2.0 Lithium Ion Polymer Rechargeable Battery. Like it says, because I just said it. So, yeah. Um, as you can see, it's it's kind of like a rectangle, obviously. But honestly, guys, the battery life for this, um, it's actually well. I'm not gonna say bad, but it's not great. Only about eight to ten minutes of runtime per battery, but also charging only takes about forty minutes. So that's good. You can get a lot of use out of this. But a smart investment would be battery number two. Two batteries are very good. Um, so you could have one in your, uh, one, say you wake up in the morning, you have your breakfast, whatever you're going to do, and then you, you know you got one charged battery and one not charged. So when you wake up, you charge the battery, like the, the second battery, or the first battery. Let's say the second battery is already recharged. This is recharged. That's ready to go. In the morning, you wake up. You know this battery is not recharged. You plug it in. Do everything you should do. It, take, it should take you about an hour or so to get fully wake, woken up. Like if you have a shower and then you have a shower or whatever you're going to do. Brush your teeth, all that stuff. You should have a battery ready. So then you got about 20 minutes of runtime. I'm just going by 10s here. Um, so yeah, 20 minutes of runtime is right here. Both of these are fully recharged and ready to go in the morning for me, which I'll make a video of then. But I think I'll give you a tiny little demo in here in my room. Just going to check the time. Okay. I've got 5 minutes and 16 seconds to finish this. So, let's let's do it quickly. Um, yeah, I really don't know what else to say here. Um, I guess I'll name all the replaceable... Well, I already kind of did. Um, oh yes, that's one thing I can do. One second. Oh, I never like to put the counter down. Sorry, guys. I can't really demonstrate right now because I don't have them with me, but this is the charger you get. It says Parrot right there. Specially made for the that kind of battery. So, you guys can see, it's got these four little kind of bronze colors, and then there's the four things there. You put the bronze ones together, and they just snap it in like that. Boom, you're good to go. That's not going to come out. Like, shaking it anyway. And to put it out, like to pull it out, you just kind of press down and pull out a little. There we go. A little stiff there. But something that's very cool about this is you can basically use this charger almost anywhere in the world because this is like the North America uh, charging thing. But all you gotta do is press this little button. If I can, holding the camera. This might look bad for you guys. I'll put it down. Alright, so you press this button right here. And you twist off. And you can see. You can just pull this one. Check out the time. Three minutes. You can pull this thing right off. And you can see. You can replace it with the, um, the other three included. So there's four total. So there's this one and three other ones. So pretty much anywhere. They all fit. You just... Son of a bitch. Ugh. Okay. So they all fit. You guys can see. I don't know if you can really tell, but there's a small end and a big end. Just match them up. Big end. Push down a little. Twist. Hear the click. You're good. So, uh, I'm going to put the indoor hull on. Connect up the batteries. And, um, we'll go over some of the features in the app itself. Alright, see you guys in a second. 
all right guys so i have everything pretty much set up i just gotta connect the battery as you can see the velcro here keeps the battery in place what i suggest is you leave the cords outside of the velcro it just seems to work better for me so here's my thumb drive as you can see it's just a sliding one and we'll stick it right in the usb port i think it's uh this side all right see fits in nice and snug um still in the little capsule type area so i'm gonna get my phone ready it's a smartphone android it's like an android phone it's a samsung galaxy s3 so i'm gonna look away while i do my password oh crap you guys saw it i don't care i don't even care okay so um what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to we're gonna go to settings we're gonna go to wi-fi okay and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the battery so i'm gonna have to set you down just simple connecting the battery and the four red leds will go on right there and then you'll see this once you see that it means it's starting the wi-fi i think that's what it means anyway it seems to be so now we're just gonna wait for the ar drone wi-fi to become available here Come on. So as you can see, there is it. There it is. It says Prices AR Drone. We're going to click that. And we're going to connect. Okay, now we're going to leave that. Now we're going to go to Games. AR Free Flight. There it is. So what I'm actually going to do right now is I'm going to put this on. Oh, sorry. Camera's in the way. Apologize. As you can see, snug fit with my thumb drive and everything connected. There's some LED lights. I will give a demo quickly, but it's fairly loud, so I can't really do too much. Okay, now let's take a look here at the camera. So here's the camera. It's kind of jittery, but that's okay. But as you can see, Here's the AR drone on my thing. The camera feed is going through. So we're looking at my desk. You can see from the AR drone. So that's the front facing camera in action. And then we've got. Oh, hey, look. Hello. Hello. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. Oh my god, I've said that so many times. So this button right here, the little kind of switch icon, you press that, and the screen will go as black right now. But as we tip it over, we investigate that it is indeed the bottom camera. Now, as you can see, it's less quality, and that's okay, because it's so small. But let's just flip that back over, go back over here. All right, I'm going to get back on the bed. And now, we're going to go to settings. Also, it displays your battery life right there. I've got 100% battery life. If you have a thumb drive connected, it will show your thumb drive right here. One hour I have on it. The Wi-Fi connection, so that's high. Let's go to settings here. Okay, I'm going to flip over back to the basic one. Pairing is on. You can name your network, which I did. The interface opacity is 50%. USB record is on. Flip enabled is off right now because I'm in the house. My altitude limit is set lowest, 3 meters because I'm in the house. Vertical speed is not too fast, 700 meters. Mm, I don't know, mm slash ass. I don't fucking know what that is. Rotation speed is at 40 tilt angles at five so in the house it's not that fast but if you put out, outdoor hull and outdoor flight these things go up i'm gonna raise my altitude for that to 20. we'll turn this off and i guess it doesn't go back these ones do though the altitude i just guess it doesn't so we're in the indoor right now so joypad mode I have on, which is not tilting, and absolute control is it means like it's the tilting one, 
but I think no it's not if you have a joypad mode off um then you tilt it you hold the button and tilt it and that'll make it go but if you have absolute control mode no matter which way it's facing if you tilt it back it's just gonna come towards you so that's good calibration it does a little spin checking the time 12 minutes oh shit camera's almost dead um Left-handed mode is on because I'm left-handed. Tilt max. Da 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 da. da. We'll go over one. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. We gotta we gotta hurry. So I'm gonna take off. So as you can see, take off. And once you take off, that button turns into landing. And when you're in the air, that turns into em that turns into emergency landing, just in case. We we'll go flat trim. I'm gonna click that, and that's just supposed to like. I don't know. It's supposed to something. All right, let's quickly do this here. Um, actually, I'm gonna charge the camera quickly. It's not gonna make a difference to you, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect all this stuff, and once the camera's a little more charged, I will uh, do the demo. Trust me, it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna charge the camera for about half an hour. All right, peace out, guys. I will be back in probably zero seconds in the computer world. I'm gonna wear my noise cancelling headphones with the noise cancelling on. Alright, we're good. As you guys can see, Okay, just like that, the landing just slowly lands for you. Now I'm gonna do it on. I'm gonna control it on a different setting, and I'm gonna use. I'm gonna take off joypad mode, and I'm just gonna like use the uh, that kind of thing. So um, I'm gonna put absolute control. Um, no. I'm not going to have absolute control on it. Um, yeah, I think I'm ready to go. Hope I know what I did. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not going to use that setting. I'm never going to fly with that setting because I'm horrible with it. Joypad mode on. Screw the other mode. <sighs> that mode is for outside. Alright though, we can keep going. Just a tiny little crash, it's fine. Let's keep going. Um. <clears throat> So it's just kind of having a spaz attack in my room. It doesn't want to stay going normal. I don't know why. It just doesn't hover in my room. We'll try one more time. Thank you, 
not working. Okay, though. It works much better outside. This is such a small box, you know. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can do this. seriously fucked it up but as you can see the battery life is complete shit I actually take that back it's complete shit because I'm already at 25% so it is pretty shitty um, it's just getting extended batteries or buy at least 40 of these <laughs> okay um, other than the battery shit everything else works pretty good so <coughs> Alright, peace out. I'm gonna put put together this video and use some of that footage, so, yeah. Guess I'll see you later.